break. I don't like this. Whoa! What's happening? Whoa! Where are we? Look out! Fear not, ranger. Barbarian, magician, thief. Cavalier and acrobat. Who was that? That was Venger, the force of evil. I am Dungeon Master, your guide in the realm of Dungeons and Dragons. Are you all right? No. My legs. I can't feel them. No. Bobby went for help, Hank. It's gonna be okay. Bobby better bring back the Marines, or, or we're all gunners. No. We're surrounded. Gotcha. I'm afraid you'll get no help from them, boy. Wigan, time to go, my pet. Climb up, son. We'd better move along. Yeah, we've got to hurry. The fog's already hurt, Hank. What? I can't help you. I'm heading far away from here. Huh? But you can't! We need your help! Please! Uh, where's Dungeon Master when you need him? Dungeon Master again, eh? Huh? All right, we'll help. I just hope we're not too late. Watch it! What's the use? We can't keep this up forever! Doing. I gotta fight back. Somebody help! No! <laughs> there, Martha! Over there! Ah, as always, she is nearby. Sorry, Bobby. It's too late. What do you mean? Sheila? Eric? Hank's gone, Bobby. What do you mean, gone? No! <laughs> I am sorry the Darkling's fog got your friend. Who is this Darkling guy, anyway? He is darkness. He creates that fog you saw. Everyone fears him. What will you do now? I don't know. Guys, don't ask me. Me neither. Where are you going? Wherever they'll accept me. Wait a minute. What about Hank? We've got to find him, don't we? I'm afraid once the Darkling takes someone, they're never seen again. Oh, no. But we can't just give up. Maybe Dungeon Master can help. 
dungeon master. Where was he when we needed him? Help is not always seen, Cavalier. But we needed you. Hank's gone. The Darkling's fog got him. <laughs> I sure hope you can help. I am very sorry about the ranger, but I can do nothing to change what has happened. Nothing? What do you mean, nothing? You're the one who sent us into this horrible forest. You must seek the light bearer in the forest of dark, for only when the light embraces the dark will darkness be destroyed. Huh? Yeah? Listen, you master of nothing. Hank's gone, and you've got some explaining to do. <laughs> Look at him. It's pitiful. He hasn't even got a poor excuse. Eric, that won't help things. Can't you do anything, Dungeon Master? Against the Darkling's magic? No. That's it. Give me that bow. Let's go look for someone who can help us. We're not letting this Darkling creep get away with taking Hank. Very well, Cavalier. But in your haste, remember, when darkness seems all-powerful, let the forgotten candle flame be your light. Greetings, Martha. Gwigan, come here. The last time I saw you, Dungeon Master, my life was ruined. Ah, I see. That sounds familiar. Gee, does Dungeon Master know everybody? Seems like it. Yeah, seems like Martha knows him, too. If you want to come with me, climb up. Well? I'm out of here. I... I'm sorry, Dungeon Master. Now listen, everybody. Maybe Dungeon Master's given up, but we won't. We'll find this Darkling and make him pay for taking Hank. As you wish, Cavalier. Whoa! Time for lunch. Where are we? About halfway between Shalderon and Mindrel. Oh, yeah, sure. Martha, who's this? Well... That was my family. Now, while we eat, let's discuss where we're going. What we need to know is how to find this Darkling person. You don't want to find him. There's a town a ways ahead, Mindrel, where you'll be safe from him. We'll be there by nightfall. No way! What? We appreciate your help, Martha, but, but we don't want to be safe. We've got to get Hank back and stop that Darkling guy from taking anyone else. Yeah. Yeah. Well, before you attempt the impossible, you'd better eat and have a good night's sleep in a real bed in Mindrel. You'll still have time to find him tomorrow night. What do you mean, still have time? The Darkling appears for only three nights every 33 years and takes one victim each night. How do you know that? That is how it has been for the past 1,000 years. <laughs> but if it's been going on for a 1,000 years, that would be almost a 100 victims. Yes. But why? His power grows during the eclipse of the moons. And when he takes his 100th victim, his winds of darkness shall destroy all light in the realm. Forever. There must be a way of stopping this jerk. Remember what Dungeon Master said? Something about the light bearer destroying the darkness? Come, if we're going to get to Mindrel by nightfall, we better get moving. Are you all going to sit there? We must get moving. That is Mindrel. Wow! It's beautiful! All right! If we all go, we might alarm the townspeople. I'll go in alone and find a place for us to stay. You'll be safe from the Darkling as long as it's daylight. <laughs> no, no. Bobby, you look after Gwigan. She might get lost in the city. No problem. Uni and I'll watch her. Yeah. I'll be back as soon as I can. Be careful. <laughs> Gwigan, I can't look after you if you don't stay still. Take it easy, Bobby. Martha said it was safe. Ah, as always, Martha has found me the perfect prey. 
just a little closer. Presto, look out! And... Yeah! Let's get him! Ah! Eric? We gotta keep going! Martha said he's the source of this fog! We can't! We're surrounded! Come on, Hat. You're our only hope. Alec and what's this? And Alec and them. Give me something to make this fog... Scram? Oh, gee... It's all arranged. We've all got soft beds to sleep in tonight. Interfere now, after all these years! You've already taken one of them. Go elsewhere for your 99s! <laughs> What's your tongue, old woman? I spare no one. No! You'll not take these children! I won't let you! <laughs> you can't stop me! talking about. Yeah, with your power, we can beat him for sure. Ah! No, I won't do it. I can't bear seeing anyone else lost. Huh? I must go. Perhaps someday I'll find a place his evil power can't reach. Martha! Wait! Don't leave us! You can't just run away. You've got to try and stop the Darkling. Dungeon Master tried to tell me the same thing. It didn't work then, and it won't work now. Don't try to stop me. Don't you care about us? No, I don't. I... I mean, I can't. If you want the Darkling, you'll find him in the Grotto of Darkness to the west. But without my help... Thanks, Uni. Well, just because she's given up, we're not going to. I am very glad to hear you say that, Cavalier. Huh? What are you doing here? If you do not stop the Darkling, he will have his hundredth victim, and his winds of darkness will rule the realm forever. But you said only the Lightbearer could stop him. That is true, but remember, in darkness, There is also light. Huh? What is he talking about? Look, we've got to stop this darkling. Foolish children. They'll only be hurt. Come on, you great beast. Get going. We must go after them. The children move too quickly. I, I can't keep up. 
I can't let them go in there alone. Oh, this looks like the place. I sure wish Martha was with us. Me too. What's your plan, Eric? All right. Diana and I'll go in and draw his attention, and you'll take care of the fog with your hat. Okay. Bobby, I want you up on the roof, ready to bring it down if you have to. What about me? We need you to try and find Hank. If he's here. Yeah, yeah, and Guiken, too. Here, you'd better hang on to this. Okay, Eric. Diana, let's go. Oh, no. It's almost dark. There's no time. I should give it up. One of them is probably already number 100. Well, come on, old girl. We've got an appointment to keep. Welcome. I assume Martha sent you. Well, uh, yeah, yeah. She sent us to put an end to you. <laughs> How delightful. She actually has you believing her. That's because I meant it. You're too late. One of these children will be the hundredth victim. And the winds of darkness shall be released. No, they won't. We meant what we said. You won't be taking anyone out. You are wrong. <laughs> you want your hundredth victim? Come, take me. No, Martha, you can't. I don't want you. I've chosen another! <laughs> Get ready with your hat, Presto! One for the money, and two for the show! Now is the time to make this fog go! Wow! Good going! Your feeble magic can't stop me! No, but I can. There is no darkness so powerful that a single candle flame can't chase it away. time you decided to come back and lead this little band. I don't know how you put up with these guys. Thanks, Eric. Thanks, everybody. Eric! Diana! Thanks, Martha. I, I never expected you to come help us, but I'm sure glad you did. I'm glad, too. But it was your courage that helped me understand how simply my light could defeat his darkness. Indeed. I should have followed your advice sooner, Dungeon Master. But until I met these children, I didn't understand. It is not the speed with which something is learned, but that it is learned at all that counts. Speaking of learning, have you by any chance learned of a way we can get home? Well, I have heard of a great magician by the name of Kryn, who might be able to send you home. Now that's what I wanted to hear! Yeah, that's great! Yeah. 